Okay, so now we are populating budgets and uh, <clears throat> we have to use the dimensions and I sort of touched on the dimension uh, in the previous video. If you need to know more about dimensions, there's a bunch of videos on the channel about dimensions, so I encourage you to get into that if you, if you don't know what the concept is, but it's used a lot in these budgets. And uh, what I want to tune in right now is as we're entering in the budgets and getting ready to use it to compare to actuals, um, I want to get into how to get this from Excel. So, so basically you have the uh, sales budget, you know, uh, and, and you got some lines in here that you're populating. And this, these lines, they are broken up by dimensions. So you could have the uh, item group, you could have region, you could have a uh, customer group, so all kinds of groups. And when you filter on these lines to type in uh, elements, <clears throat> this could be very complicated. So I could say I'm in the item group coffee, I'm in the region northeast, and I'm in the customer group small, and I'm typing in what I want for that for the month of February. So it gets really into detail and, and a bit, big headache to, uh, to actually get it into the system. So what do we use when we have a headache like that? We use Excel because we're Microsoft. So we drop this into Excel. There we have the lines out. We can have it filtered. And even better than using Excel or on top of using Excel, we also delegate it out to someone else to do. So you can separate out the regions or the customer groups between salespeople uh, that actually work with that area. They get an Excel sheet. They populate the stuff in the Excel sheet. You get that back, you import it into the budget and you're good. So let's see how to do that. Okay, so we're back in the uh, budgets and we were just typing in um, sales budgets for the Inacta coffee mug. And I'm gonna keep going on that. So if I go into sales budgets here and go into what I was just working on now, I filled in for all of the uh, uh, different customer groups, which is small, medium, large for the Northeast. And uh, uh, <clears throat> the totals are this. Now, populating it like this is really difficult, obviously. And you might want to give the sheet to someone else to work on. So what if um, we actually just say, okay, I'm going to get a uh, customer, uh, small customer group and the region northeast right here and uh, and I want to do this in Excel so if I go into actions export to Excel just create a new document uh, the system will actually bring in a uh, Excel document and it should pop up here any minute there it is um, and I should be able to type in the numbers for what I want. So if I go back into here, so I have here, um, let's say for the medium drip coffee and the paper coffee cup and the coffee beans, I'm going to create data. So I go in here and that's, it would have been nice to get actually the description in here, but um, no, <laughs> we don't have that. Anyways, that's fine. So let's say we have here 250. Oops, I got to enable editing. Um, 250. Um, <clears throat> let's say this is just going to be straight on 250 all the way. Uh, and this one is going to be um, 300, 350, 400. It's going to follow the same path as the other ones. 350, 300, 300 etc. And then 300 going out. So now what I want to do is bring this back into the system. So basically save it. And uh, if I go back into the system here, and I can just hit import. 
and replace entries that's fine and now I just want to bring in my book uh, yes okay and now I have uh, hopefully the data in here let's just go out and back in let's see um, maybe I did not save so let's save it let's book two I'll just close it out and hit actions import yes okay choose the file there we go and now they're in so you can basically export it to Excel type in your uh, numbers there and notice that this is all on the small so I had a fixed it on the small uh, dimension now if I click on medium uh, it's going to blank out uh, the entries that I had so you have to basically do it for every single segment and upload it up